Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We start with Pablo Gavi as it has been reported that the Barca midfielder will not miss Bayern Munich clash after injury scare versus Athletic Club. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then to conclude this episode, we are going to be discussing on the official squad list that Barcelona have released. Um, for the game against Bayern Munich in the Champions League tomorrow at the Spotify Camp Nou. We are going to be looking at that as well. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't turned on the post bell notification. To always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. On Sunday, Barcelona secured a resounding 4-0 victory over Athletic Club at Spotify Camp Nou with Usman Dembele starring for Barcelona with a goal and three assists. However, Barca were dealt a couple of injury scares during that game against Ernesto Valverde's side. Midfield sensation, Gavi, was taken off in the first half after he picked up a knock following a strong coming together with Dani Garcia. Sergio Roberto, meanwhile, dislocated his shoulder late in that contest and had to be stretched off the pitch. And it has been claimed that the 30-year-old will not feature for Barca until after the FIFA World Cup. There had been not much reported about Gavi's situation, although manager Javi Hernandez had insisted that the youngster was okay after the game. Now, AS is reporting that the 18-year-old has trained normally with the rest of his teammates today and is in contention to feature against Bayern Munich on Wednesday. Gavi enjoyed a brilliant last week as he won the Copa Trophy and the Golden Boy 2022 award, beating the likes of Jude Bellingham, Yama Musiala and Real Madrid prodigy Eduardo Camavinga. On the back of a memorable week, an injury would have been a blow for the teenage sensation, so it will come as a relief for him as well as Barca fans that the 18-year-old is fit and trained really well ahead of the game against Bayern Munich. However, Neither Memphis Opai nor Andres Christensen are expected to return to action against the Bavarian Giants for Wednesday's clash at Camp Nou. Roberto and Ronald Araujo, meanwhile, remain long-term absentees. Barcelona faced Bayern Munich, of course, knowing that the result could be completely inconsequential if Inter wins or if Inter do not lose to Victoria Pleasant in their game, which would take place earlier before the game against Bayern at the Camp Nou. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona bounced back from a streak of poor results with two back-to-back -back wins against Villarreal and Athletic Club in the league. They scored seven goals across those two games, considering none which should motivate them for the challenge that lies ahead on Wednesday. Bayern Munich travelled to Catalonia for Game Week 5 of the 2022-23 Champions League hoping to go 2-for-2 two two against Javi's men. Barcelona's squad list for the game has been announced with no real changes to the team. No player apart from Sergio Roberto who has picked up a long injury or returned from one. Andres Christensen could return to the squad on the weekend with Ronald Araujo rolled out till after the World Cup at least. Gavi, who had picked up a minor knock against Athletic Club, is fit and have been included in the squad. Usman Dembele produced a scintillating performance against Athletic Club in midweek and will be hoping to keep his form alive against a familiar opponent. All eyes, of course, will be on Robert Lewandowski, though, who has been in incredible form all season. He missed out on scoring against his former team at the Allianz Arena, but probably has a better chance on Wednesday with Manuel Neuer out injured. As you can see from the, the squad there, we have Ter Stegen, Bellerin, Piquet, Busquets, Usman Dembele, Pedri, Lewandowski, Ansu Fati, Ferran Torres, Marcos Alonso, Jordi Alba, Frank Hise, Frankie De Jong, Rafinha, Kunde, Eric Garcia, Inaki Pena, Bade, Gavi, Pablo Torre, Arno Tenas. Those are the squad lists that Javi has released and of course as I earlier said the one notable absentee there is Sergio Roberto 
who picked up a serious injury. He dislocated his shoulder against um, Athletic Club, which means that he will not be available and they say he will be out of the World Cup. Um, so we wish him a speedy recovery. Um, of course, which means that Hector Bellerin will be the one to be starting most matches now as he is the only natural right back that Barca can boost off. So let's see. Tomorrow's game is going to be very crucial, very important, and we need to win it. Mm, Bayern is never an easy opposition for Barca when we look at the recent history between Barca and Bayern. Bayern have dominated in the last five games. They have won all of them. The last time we won at Bayern was the Camp Nou back in 2015. In that run that we went to win the Champions League when Messi was was so phenomenal in that game. And from then, Bayern have beaten Barcelona for all the other fixtures. So we, we really need to improve, you know, playing the big boys. I think what we saw against Athletic Club Villarreal was something so interesting to watch from this Barca side. And we need them to replicate such performances against the big boys. You know, it's not just a matter of winning the small teams in the league, but also trying to win big teams that matter in Europe and heading into this game tomorrow, which means, well, normally, as we all know, we might be playing against Bayern when we have already qualified for the Europa League. So going to the next round of the Champions League will be so difficult because many people, it's difficult to see Inter Milan not winning against Victoria Pleasant. So that is where the problem may lie and let's hope that it happens. Um, Javi himself in today's press conference confirmed that he, um, him and the squad, the rest of the squad, they will be at the dressing room watching that early fixture that is between Inter Milan and Victoria Pleasant. So we hope that if Victoria Pleasant can steal even a point from there, it's going to still matter a lot. Let's, as it stands right now, it's good that we just assume that we are going to Europa League because when you keep your expectations high, you know, it might just come and haunt you. So, just have to keep our hopes low and play our best to ensure that we win by end to, you know, in just just for pride. Just for pride. If it happens that seeing something happen and a big surprise happen in the Victoria Pleasant game, then good and fight. It's going to be so amazing. But right now, if you ask many people, I will say it's, it's, it's difficult. It's really difficult. So, can't wait to see how that game tomorrow plays out. Um... I just wish we try to win. We need to win that game. You know, Bayern Munich have been dominating us a lot. And we are not a relegation side in the Bundesliga that Bayern just beat week in, week out. We need to to show them that we are Barca. We are the, one of the top clubs in the world for many years. And we just can't be being battered by Bayern all the time we meet. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.